right, guys, clearly you're interested, and uh, welcome to 302 Fishing. We're excited, guys. Our first episode on our new channel name. We love it. Uh, as people are already liking it already, man. Uh, Oakster was talking to his family and friends, and they're jumping on board. So we're going to keep bringing that fishing to you uh, as we have been, but under that new surname. We are going to be doing what we promised at the beginning of the year, and that's to do something a little bit different than going out and fishing for the bass. So we are going to be going for uh, catfish, and we're going to be going for carp. So we're on the beach of this lake that's literally maybe about five minutes away from my house, and we know there's some deep ruts right here, so we're going to throw right out there, and uh, we're going to try some live bait. And we're going to try some dough balls, and we'll show you uh, how to do that uh, once we uh, get off the intro over here and we start throwing our uh, lines out there. But uh, enough of the talking, guys. Let's get out there and fish. All right, so we're on the beach, and Oakster's getting himself prepared over here to my left-hand side. And we're just going to give you the basic rundown on what we normally use here to catch catfish in Delaware. Guys, you can catch these giants in less than $5 worth of stuff. Guarantee. Right now, it's winter time. You'll see something here that we normally don't use to catch our catfish, and that is the worms right here. So we're trying to up our percentage of possibly getting something here. That's, that's the only reason why we have live bait today. But normally, push that aside. Heavy duty rod, guys, real, real firm. Uh, heavy action. We have a, you know just a traditional heavy action uh, reel over here. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's strong enough. Make sure you set your drag so when you hit one of these things, it doesn't snap your line. Just make sure it's kind of loose a little bit because there are 20 and 30 pound fish in this particular body of water. Bread, can opener, cream corn, and Jolly Rancher, Weilers, High C, whatever you want to get, you're going to get cherry flavored powder, guys. That's all you need. Less than $5 worth of stuff. You open up the cream corn, pour the powder in there, get a stick, swirl it all the way around. Put your bread on top of your uh, hooks. I usually use a treble. Oakster usually uses, you know, like a maybe a one or two aught hook, regular hook, and we just toss it out there, guys, and we just hope for the best. Uh, we take the crust off. All we do is just ball it up, and I'll show you in a couple seconds how we do that. So give me a moment uh, to get myself rigged up, and if we're lucky, we're gonna get maybe a giant. I don't know, but our hope is just to have one, two if we're lucky, and if we get a giant, that's even better, guys. All right, so Oakster's got his thing going on right now. Uh, we both uh, changed up uh, the way we rig our uh, catfish rigs. And we both have got Carolina rig going on with a slide weight. And maybe about, I don't know, a foot from the swivel all the way down to the hook. Again, as I said, I'm using treble. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open up that cream corn. All right, let's get that uh, cream corn open, guys. A couple twirls. All right, so again, we got the uh, cherry packet right here. Again, just cut it open. And, you know, depending how strong you want the flavor, guys, you could put one or two. It really doesn't matter. And right now, we're just going to go with one. And uh, Oakster picked up a stick for me and just jam it down in there. And all you're going to do is just swirl it around, guys, make it as ready as you can make it. And then when you feel you got the right mixture going on, You'll uh, get ready to form the bread on the hook there. All right, so what I did is I gingerly removed all of the crust off of the bread. Whatever you do, guys, when you're out, do not throw the bread out to the side or let these birds see hand motions because they will come over to you. It'll be like 30 birds swarming on you to try to get these uh, pieces of bread. And this is the part that you're wanting to use right here. So give me a couple seconds. I'm going to slap that up on the uh, shovel hook. Now, Oakster and I, we do ours each a little bit differently. Oakster likes to lay his loose on the, uh, his hook. What I usually do is I just take the piece of bread that I'm getting ready to drop, put a flat in my hand, and I usually put the treble right in the middle. Don't push down, just put it right there and just gingerly, again, squeeze the bread. And all you're doing is getting it to it's just enough of a firmness that stays on the bait, but when you go to cast, it doesn't come off of your hook. But when you feel you've got, and you want to, like I said, don't want to make an actual ball. You kind of almost want to make it like a missile kind of look. So if you notice, it's kind of oblong looking. That's what you want right there. So the fish can suck that bait right up into their mouth. We're going to come down here, and all we're going to do is come to the cream corn again. We drop it right in here. And as a purpose, for what we're doing right here, just 
put it underneath here, let it soak for a couple seconds. And what you're doing is the cream corn sticks to the bread. Obviously the uh, powder sticks to the cream corn. And when you throw it out in the water, the, cream, uh, the uh, cherry Kool-Aid actually dissolves and creates a scent trail. So it kind of draws those fish right into the bait that itself, which is the bread. All right, guys, I've gotten like four or five bumps already. So what happens sometimes is these fish come up here and especially if it's a carp, they'll come up, up see that? Especially if it's a carp, what he'll do is he'll play with it before he commits to eating it. Here we go. There he is, guys. I'm gonna say he's probably a little catfish. Uh, pretty sure I do. Let's see here. If, if it is, it's not very big. He's not bad. Not bad. First catfish of 2019 for 302 fishing, baby. Yeah. Look at the speckles on the back of the uh, tail there, guys. Pretty cool looking. But this is normal cats you're gonna see. I'm assuming it's a mud, right, bud? It's a mud cat. Yeah, so it's a mud cat, and we do got cha we have channel cats in here too, guys. You get some decent size. That's the ones we like to, to get all the time because those ones are real good fighters. But uh, Oakster, do the honors. Here we go. Ah, first catfish, 302 fishing, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! She gone. Not really. <laughs> oh, coming back to see me. Bye. <laughs> now she gone. All right, so another useful tool that you can get, guys, again, relatively inexpensive, I think it's anywhere from 2 to $3, is these cheap uh, rod holders you can get at Dick's, Cabela's, whatever. When you, At the counter, when you're cashing out and everything else, you usually see a bucket full of them sitting there. Get one of these. That way you're not sitting there holding the rod all day long, especially when <laughs> the ground is, like, frozen solid. I literally had to put it in the water, guys, because that was the only soft ground I could find. We're going to go ahead and lift this rod back up. And uh, one good thing you need to do, guys, is when you put this on top of the rod holder, make sure your line is a little bit slack because you're basically kind of like doing sight fishing. You're not looking for this fish, but you're looking for visual cues, which is that line. It's kinked up right now, but you'll see it straighten out. And that way you can just bead your eyes on that and be ready. All right, so Thunder was telling you earlier that him and I do things a little differently. He uses a treble hook. I use a, I use a circle hook like this. And I put it smack dab in the middle like so see that and then I just fold it over and I fold it over and what I do is I completely hide that hook okay because once a fish like especially a carp picks this bait up if there's any kind of metal sticking out that metallic taste in its mouth he'll spit it right back out again if you guys notice that I put this around here like that and I'm gonna push in just to expose that tip a little bit you see that get him get him get him <laughs> you missed him again? Yeah, it's a little one, man. Definitely a little one. Oh, lordy, lordy. Alrighty, guys. So, I've decided to come here, come down here to Dan's left. Because there's a lot of bites going on out here off the bread. Dan's had at least three different bites. Hasn't been able to get it in yet. So, we are going to see if we can assist in the catch here. Yeah, disappointed myself on that one, guys. Dang it. But where there's one, there's some. <laughs> Dan says, all right, it goes on. let's go, guys. Let's hopefully get another one on. Oh, there goes my bread. <laughs> 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 Winning. All right, guys, I just got another hit. I'm getting ready to pick this up. I'm pretty sure it's probably just a small caddy, but uh, I want to be ready for when it does. Seems like right now, there's just a bunch of small cats that are around. And the thing about catfish, as as the day progresses, these big fish, these big fish will come in and chase these little ones out. Same with carp. The little ones come in to feed. As that scent gets in the water, these big ones come in and chase them away. Uh, Oakster's doing something here. He doesn't know whether he's hooked up or not, but he's got, oh, it's a fish. He does have a fish. <laughs> he thought he was hooked up on the bottom, but he's got a nice little caddy. All right. All right. That's how subtle those hits are, guys. Oh, that's man. a little more chunky one there, right. buddy. Good job, bud. Let me go ahead and my hands are pretty cold. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a pretty color. Look at the red and purple in the tail. All righty. Fish number two for the oakster. Let's see if this one comes back to us. <laughs> and <laughs> get on there. Get. 
Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, she gone. Yep. All right, definitely got that one. All right, guys, fish on. It's probably a small caddy. I can feel it. Yeah, that one wasn't going to get away. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here, guys. Yep, there we go. Everybody's got a fish on a little mud. All right, look at the dark out of this, Jace. Man. All right. And look, his mouth ain't coming open at all, man. I got, <laughs> I got him coming and going, man. Got both trebles in him. But uh, let's get that hook out of his lip. But the uh, main thing you gotta wor worry about, guys, is when you're trying to take the hooks out and everything, right here, guys, man. You do not want to get stick by that barb that's coming right out of the side of him right there and as well on the other fin here and you try to hold down the dorsal too because you'll get stuck by that uh, god knows me and oakster have gotten stuck a couple times man it's, it's not a fun thing it's very painful we got the uh, catfish all on hook guys and i don't know if you could notice something I, look at his look at how red it is and those fins right there the, the tail that's pretty cool looking i never seen anything like that before but a real dark mud but uh, let's get this little bad boy in the water Th uh, thunder's back on the board here and uh she's gone oh she's coming back at me too Oak. <laughs> come on stop messing with that bait guys when i get done when we get done seeing if dan sets the hook or not if you look down here this is just garbage that people just throw in the waters because they don't give a crap about the environment so i'm gonna reach down there and grab it and take it out of, you know we always try to leave a place better than the way we found it guys look right here that's a bald eagle right here. We literally saw three bald ma eagles, males. One's right here, there's one in the tree right over here, and one went down there. There's another one, guys, look. That's four bald eagles. Right there. Wow, that's wild. That is insane, guys. Uh, this is not even a joke, look. That's five bald eagles within literally five minutes. There's another one right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Looks like we got movement right here. Come on, come on. There we go. Fish on. Fish on, guys. That's a decent one, too. That's a good one. All right. All right. It's not huge, but it's enough to give me a pull. All right, guys. How about that? It's a nice one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. They're getting bigger. See what I'm talking about? Okie was talking about a couple seconds ago. They're starting to get bigger now. Excellent. Look at that one, man. Nice, nice, beautiful colors. You can hear them croaking. Look at the belly on that thing, guys. Look how fat it is. You see that, Oakster? I see it, bud. Man, this thing's stiffening up. Look at that belly, man. He's got, he's got to have some big old... Oh, he's eating good. ...full of minnows and, I mean... <laughs> good job. All right, let's see if this one can actually swim straight. <laughs> For some reason, all these catfish have been straight, <laughs> swimming in some kind of erratic looking ways, but let me get down here and uh, give it a good old toss. And uh, she gone. Nice, pretty day, guys, despite the cold. Guys, I just got it real slack here. It went real, real slack. Here we go. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and set this hook. Here we go. There he is. Yeah, thank you. It's not, I mean, it's got some size, but it's it's rolling. Oh, yeah. There you go, Oakster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a nice one. All right, man. Look at that. It's whirling, man. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that fatty caddy, <laughs> holy smokes. Look at a big old fat head on that thing. Go ahead and take this out of there. I'm over here barking, barking. Dan come in for the save here. Hero. <laughs> talking to me, talk baby. He's talking. Well, he says subscribe to 302 Fishing, you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice one, Dan. Yeah, definitely. Very nice. Alrighty. Well, 
we've enjoyed this beauty long enough. All right, girl. I'll see you next time. Go get bigger for me. There you go. Oh, turn around. Go, go, go. I'm going to just follow you. There you go. She gone. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these. They're literally fighting over a piece of chicken in the water, guys. Like a whole thigh. And there's 30 seagulls going after it. <laughs> Where's well, it at? He, Look. It's too heavy for Look. it to fly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so he keeps Guys, I wish you could see this. I mean, like, <laughs> where is it at? Look, this chicken, he's got literally a whole thigh in his mouth right here, guys. He's coming right at us. <laughs> see the thigh? <laughs> here he comes right above us. There it is. <laughs> oh my God. Calls chaos, man. Throw chicken in the middle. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Dan got ready to set the hook and his battery died. So I'm playing interception here for him. There we go. All right. This one, guys. All right. There you go, buddy. Yeah. All right. Look at old swirl axe, old caddy. <laughs> old catfish. Excellent, guys. Yeah, that one's like playing it really slow. Look at the spots on this one, guys. Mr. Twister here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you that go. That came out pretty nice, easily. Nice. But uh, little Mr. Caddy. Yeah. And that fish is really, really cold. Yeah. But uh, let's see if he uh, swims out towards the water or come back at us again. <laughs> and oh, look. oh, oh! <laughs> yeah. Where are you Where going? going? Where am I going? There you go. And she's gone. She gone. All right, here we go, guys. Oakster might have one. Uh, <laughs> that was that. Yep. Yeah. There you go, guys. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Good try, Oakster. You know what that fish said? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> corny. He's so corny. <laughs> All right, guys, man. We were optimistic when we came out here, and uh, we thought we were just going to catch maybe one or two uh, catfish or carp. And uh, it turned out to be a productive day. We caught six, six. or seven uh, six. catfish. Uh, we thought on that first one that was going to be a, definitely a carp, man, because it was classic carp Absolutely. hit, man. I mean, we knew it. It picked it up and torpedoed right on out, man. We knew what was up. <laughs> Old man reflexes. Hey, here you go, man. <laughs> I, just, I had to go home and pick my cane up and go back to Lutheran Towers right behind us over here, guys. But um, nonetheless, man, guys, $5. That's all it cost us to come out here, man. So you can have a great time on the cheap. Uh, bread, Kool-Aid. Uh, what else? We have hooks. Mm -hmm. And we had the cream corn. And... Uh, if you guys watch this, you know, let, let your kids go out there and use those, and they're going to have a good old fun time, man. You'll get like, tiny little catfish all the way up to the big ones, man. Uh, it doesn't matter. These things will eat that bait up here. But uh, we had another crazy thing, too. We saw some eagles all over the place, five of them, mm -hmm. and seagulls fighting over a piece of chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, enough of me, Oakster. You got anything to say? Guys, I, I'm, I'm just, we're having a blast. What a great way to start out 302 fishing with some catfish. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I had a really good time today. We, I hope I hope this video is a great op a learning opportunity for you guys. So, um, you had fun today? Uh, absolute fabulous time today. All right. Guys, if you like the material we're putting out, please like, subscribe, turn your notifications so the next time Dan and I put out some material, you guys get it instantly. <laughs>